Hi from the Heartland, y'all. It's Square Peg, and we're going to talk about wind. Busting wind, breaking wind. No, no, just regular wind. This is non-tornadic wind that we're discussing, otherwise known in French as La Vette, <laughs> which is the name of a movie, which is why I have it there as the title. I think I have a cat meowing outside. I'm going to check. Hold on. All right. So I started out with the song, Who's slipping down the streets of the city, smiling at everybody she sees. Yeah, Windy, by The Association. It came out on May 1st of 1967. And I got to thinking about the, the book, A Wind in the Door, by Madeline Langle, that I've talked about before. And also A Mighty Wind, which I think I've also talked about before, the movie. It's a like a mockumentary. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, a Mighty Wind. Uh, yeah. So that came out in 03. Let me see. Let me check my notes here. A Mighty Wind, 416 of 2003. Oh, yeah. I have it written in pencil, real, real small there. So this was... Oh, that's another movie. So, A Mighty Wind, 416, Windy, 5-1. Same time of year, approximately, right? Now, A Wind in the Door, the book, came out in 1973. The date that's provided is January 1st, which for older books, I find they kind of all say January 1st. Like, they didn't give them a specific date, they just put January 1st on it. So, it's kind of hard to tell when it actually came out in 1973. But going with the 1-1 one, one date of 73, that brings us to the end, last day of the year, in 2023, 12-31. So that was very recently still, right? All right, so A Mighty Wind, back from 2004, now-ish, is 21 years. So I went back another 21 years, and lo, 1982. I just typed in 1982 wind, and holy cow, a bunch of things came up. A bunch of things. So let's go through a few of them here. I don't know if these are the same event or two different events. <laughs> Chinook winds of winter 1982. That it's that's the name of it. The name of the wind, which I, a book I mentioned recently, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Anyway, Chinook winds winter 1982, especially January 17th and January 24th. Interesting. Now, Chinook means uh, in the Rocky Mountains, basically. So that was January of 82, so I have it on this side. And this here was December 21st of 1982. So all the way on the other side of the year, we have a, a storm on the West Coast. I don't know that they gave it a name. It said December 21, 1982, wind storm. <laughs> so... It, the map they showed showed Washington, but then I saw they mentioned Long Beach, so I don't know if they meant, like, the port up in Washington. I believe it's called Long Beach, but there's also a Long Beach, California. There's also a Long Beach Island, New Jersey, so <laughs> Long Beach is everywhere, I believe. So I just called it West Coast Windstorm, December 21st of 82. All right. So at the beginning and at the end of 82, and then let's see what was in the middle. Oh, no, these are not in the middle. Because these actually happened in March of 83. I have 82, 83 on here. Right, so. Tornado tears through L.A., killing 33 people. Hmm. March 1st of 1983. So I was trying to match up something in March. Hold on, let me, let me, or, I gotta pause it again. Well, I'm not sure anymore. So we're just going to press on. <laughs> also, in March of 1983, now this was towards the end of the month. For some reason, I was trying to match up with March 27th. So hopefully we'll come across that in here someplace and figure out why I was looking for March 27th of 83. But I found March 25th. Motown 25 concert. Like maybe the 25th version of it? Or 25 years, maybe? Motown 25 concert featuring The Temptations... The Miracles, and the Supremes. Well, that sounds very biblical, right? You've got your temptation, and you got your miracles, and the Supreme, like the Supreme God of all gods, or the King of Kings, perhaps. All very, very big, lofty kind of names there. Temptations, Miracles, and Supremes, all with the in the beginning again. This was March 25th of 1983. 
And at this concert was also featured the Jackson 5. And Michael Jackson unveiled his famous moonwalk dance. <laughs> dancing! Again, we're back to dancing. Now, this was huge. Of all the dance things I've talked about, possibly David Bowie would be, you know, Let's Dance might be equivalent to this, but I don't know. This is probably, along with Elvis and his crazy hips, tempting the ladies, temptations, the Michael Jackson moonwalk dance, huge marker, huge historical marker. So all the other dancing could be emanating from this as the rock in the pond for the dancing, which I just found fascinating. I really, I, I dug that. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Then a few days later, at the end of March, 1983, we've got a play or a musical called Run For Your Wives. <laughs> and this reminded me of the Miracle Mile, which I talked about in a video a month or so ago. Maybe it was my um, New Year's predictions video, I'm not sure. Run for your wives. So you could run for your lives. You could run really fast, like the Miracle Mile. Um, but this also suggests that your wives could be taken from you. Or there could be a contest for your wives. Why would you need to run for your wives? Think about it literally and not as a, as a comedic ploy, you know? Like, why would you need to run for your wives? Uh, to catch them because they're running away from you? Or they're being tempted by, I don't know, say a really, really, really charismatic world leader with a strong, binding, pheromone-like scent. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about that. All right. Let me pause for a second and gather my thoughts. Okay. Of course, Chicago is known as the Windy City, so I looked those up in the Gematronator, and I thought it was interesting that Windy and City are mirrors of each other, 75 and 57. Not only that, when you add up 75 or 57, both of them come to 12, which is the letter L, right? And I was like, oh yeah, the letter L, and I talked about that in a video, and now we have two. We have two L's, 12, 12, 12. Two L's is 12. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. So in the middle here, in between the song, Windy, and 2025, is a movie called Wind. And it's a Hungarian film about women, which Windy is the name of a woman's song. Name. Sorry, hold on. Someone just knocked on my door. I'll be right back. Well, that was awfully nice. Maintenance dropped off some mail for me. Anywho, <laughs> this Windy song, that's the name of a girl, right? So we have the book, The Name of the Wind, which came out in 07. It was published March 27th. There's that March 27th of 07. The Name of the Wind by Pat Patrick Rothfuss, right? And it's very similar to Wendy, as in Peter Pan, which... I never did a full Peter Pan dive because it was an enormous thing in the fractal and it was too much, too much, too much data. <laughs> uh, it fried my noodle and I couldn't proceed. But I have noticed all these Peter Pan things popping up. And that's another one, Wendy, right? So if you go from Wendy to Wind, about women in Hungary, and then you go out the same amount of time and it brings you out to 25. I did not have a date on this. It was sometime in 96. So it was a little hard to pin down over here. But I think you can see there's there's a little bit of a collection going on around about now, <laughs> right? And I've certainly talked about some other wind things. And then I've talked quite a bit about Chicago, the Windy City. So I want to talk about what other things happened here in 1996 along with this movie Wind, right? So we've got this first one. Hyperbole again, right? The most extreme wind speed ever recorded on Earth. They have to add the on Earth there, like it would, okay. <laughs> 408 kilometers per hour from Tropical Storm Olivia. Right, this is non-tornadic. Non, that's the fastest non-tornadic wind. It was almost 14 years until it became official. 
this very fast wind, that nobody knew it was the most extreme wind speed ever recorded on Earth for another 14 years. Like, 14 years, huh? How far is it from 1982 to 1986? Well, that's 14 years, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay, here's another good one. Wind from NASA. This is a spin-stabilized spacecraft. It achieved halo orbit around the sun, November of 1996. This spacecraft is, its task, its mission is to observe and record solar wind. Oh, solar wind. Isn't that interesting? I dig it. That is very cool. So now we've brought in like a solar storm, right? A geomagnetic blitz or something like that, right? Now I know that there is a connection between wind and sun, like the wind comes up usually in the daytime with the sun and it dies down when the sun goes down. There is this connection already between the sun and the wind. So I just, I just loved it. So that's what I got for you today regarding wind, I think. This one up here says May 1982. That's when Levent, Levent, Levent <laughs> came out. I believe it was entered into the Cannes Film Festival, so seeing a date of May is not a surprise at all, because that's when that film festival happens. All right, now I'm sure I forgot something, but uh, I got all my sticky notes and everything, so I'm going to bid you adieu. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one.